Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video tutorial, we are going to talk about setting up Pixie Set, how I use this service, what it does, all of the different features, and how I take advantage of them when I'm sending my clients online photo galleries. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so Pixie Set is an online photo gallery service that allows you to send your clients these beautiful photo galleries of their session. They basically have their own personal photo gallery website that they can reference and share and download all of their photos. They can do proofs, they can have an online app, all of these different features inside of it. So as you can see, when the client actually receives their images, they have this beautiful big screen, they scroll down and they have their gallery. They even have an app that you can send to your clients. They can download their own personalized app on their phone and easily share those photos with others, with friends, with family and online. Basically, Pixie Set has a lot of really amazing things. So I'm going to show you how I set it up and we'll get cracking. So I've already logged in. I'm going to hit open dashboard and inside of my dashboard, I have all of my client galleries. This is one that I was just practicing with before this video, so we'll delete that. And you can see that they're organized into two different collections right now, all and weddings. If you do a whole bunch of different kinds of shoots, you could have engagements, you could have family photos, you could have newborn. That way you can sort your galleries easily. You can see that I have all of my galleries from all of the sessions I've done over the last couple of years. I've been doing using Pixie Set for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it because of all of the features that it provides and the experience it has and how easy it is to use. So let me show you exactly how I use it. So let's say that I finish this session and I want to upload it to Pixie Set. Well, the easiest way to do that is to come into here, hit new collection, and it's really straightforward. So we'll go with Jane and Austin. That can be their pretend names. And we just did their session yesterday and we can choose from our default settings. So I've set one up with weddings ahead of time. Pixie Set also has a default setting. So if I do weddings, let's say, you can see that I already have these folders pre-made for all of the different parts of the day. We've got reception, bride prep, bride prep, groom prep, ceremony, group photos, and then we can add our photos to this gallery. And it's really as simple as finding the photos, drag them in here. These are engagement photos, but it doesn't matter. And you can see that they've started to upload. Now, obviously it's going to take a little bit of time here because we have quite large files. So to save you watching all of this, let's jump over to the finished gallery that has already been uploaded ahead of time. This one right here. Okay, now Chase and Caitlin had an engagement shoot and I upload the, uploaded the photos exactly the way that I showed you and this is what you get once you have that done. Now there's a couple things we also need to do. Pixie Set has a beautiful cover at the top of the gallery when we send it to our clients. So this is what the gallery will look like. We need to assign whatever image there is at the top. And we can do that just by going down, finding an image we like. So let's say that we liked this one right here. We go to more and then make cover. And you can see it's being updated here. And if we refresh this page, now we have that photo at the cover. Now inside this gallery, we can also set up a couple of other things. So if we hit this little settings menu, we can go design and we can change the layout of that large image. If we don't really want that text at the top or we just don't like the font, we can change it to a few uh, different options that they've created for us. So there's a serif option, sans serif. You can have your grid style be vertical or horizontal depending on which you shoot more of. So I'm going to switch it to horizontal actually because I mostly shoot in landscape mode. We can set it to a dark or a light mode, even adjust the size of the thumbnail, thumbnails, the thumbnails and our grid spacing, all of these different things, which is really, really cool. And if we want to, we can also change the cover option just by selecting from these different templates that they have for us here. So you can grab one that fits you, fits your style best, and life is beautiful. So once the client actually receives their gallery, the other cool thing is that in our settings, we can turn this off if you like, but Pixie Set will even walk the client through how to use it. So they'll say, here's how you download, here's how you favorite, here's how you add to cart, which is really quite amazing and just adds that extra experience to our client. Let's say that you didn't want to do this every single time with every single session. Well, awesome for Pixie Set, they have defaults that you can actually set. And if we scroll down in our settings menu, uh, we can find them here. Collection defaults. We're going to create a new default. We're going to call it Ryan's default. Perfect. You can create this for any kind of session. So you can have separate ones for your engagements or for your family shoots, your boudoir, whatever it is. And then we're going to add a category tag. So let's say that this was for families. And that will be added every time we select this template in the future. And then we can have all of our settings just pre laid out. So we can go to the design and let's say that with family sessions, I want the template to look like this at the top. We can even do a cover video now. Serif, let's do horizontal grid, dark mode, large thumbnails, 
right? So you go through and we can set all of those different things. We can decide if we want to show or hide it on the home page, how our download settings are going to go, if we want them to be able to download or just to preview the photos, if we want to allow them to download a single photo with um, photos with galleries made with this template, you understand. And then you can turn on and off download pins, which is really quite awesome. We're going to save that default. And then when we go into our client gallery, create a new collection, we can select from Ryan's default, set this up, and it will pre-make it with all of those same design changes, any photo sets and folders that you've organized, all of the different settings will be saved and save you so much time. Every time you create the gallery, it's going to be consistent. All of your settings are set up and life is breezy. Pretty easy, pretty great, hey? And we can organize our photos into different sections. So if we jump back here to our galleries, and I look at a gallery that actually has an entire wedding. You can see I've organized things into bride prep, groom prep, ceremony. And when we view this, and the client receives it just like this, they have their photo up here, and then everything is organized. They can easily cycle between different parts of the day. Or they can just scroll and then hit this view more button and it will automatically take them to the next section. So it's really as easy as that when the client is inside of Pixie Set, what I love is they can favorite their images. So I tell them ahead of time, if they're ordering an album, go ahead, create a favorites list. They'll enter their email and sign up. And then after that, they can send me the favorites list and I can download that to use for the album. So I say, go ahead, favorite 100 different photos, and I'll use those to start with your album design. And then there's no back and forth about having to meet up and say, yeah, we want these photos and blah, blah, blah. No, they just create a favorites list. I download that favorites list, and then I start designing. So that's really, really cool. You'll also see this add to cart option here. And I will show you how I configured that. Basically, Pixie Set now supports actually ordering prints online, which is super amazing. To do that, we're just going to go back here hit this store function, and then launch your store in four easy steps. I don't need to walk you through everything here because it's super, super easy, but I'll just give you a quick preview. Basically, they have a price sheet for different prints from different companies, and then you can go ahead and you can edit it, set it up however you like. So I really love this. It was super simple. I basically left this as is and just went through my different settings. So I set my tax because I'm in Canada. I need to charge 5% PST, uh, GST rather, and then shipping etc 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 so you can do all of that you can even have coupons so for example I created one for free shipping over orders of hundred and fifty dollars because I would like to incentivize them to spend more to save on that shipping and the beautiful thing is your clients can even have people purchase them gift cards to get prints It's really really great a lot of functionality in there that honestly I haven't even tapped into the start of it but I just have this up here there's a nice banner and that way people are very aware okay I can buy stuff blah 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 and you'll see that I've got all of my pricing up here. They can go ahead and order whatever they like. And Pixie Set has built that all in so they can even see what the print looks like. They've got a preview. I mean, how amazing is that? And I didn't need to code this. I didn't need to set it up. It was pretty much just there. I just put in the prices based on what they already suggested, and it was done. So now you can see the cart option. We've got our favorites. They can even download the photos. And that's another really great feature about Pixie Set. I'm going to show you my specific settings here in a second. But the reason I'm talking about the features so much is because the features are what make this platform amazing and probably what you might not know about. The actual setup is pretty simple. It's really set up the gallery, put in the client name, organize those photos, and then send it off. And I'll show you that in a second. But when the client downloads these photos, so let's say I was going to download these at misc.com because that's my pretend email. I would sign in, I would download the photo, and I would select what resolution I want. So Pinterest, Pinterest, <laughs> Pixie Set will actually let me decide which resolution I want, whether I want to download this photo for print or for web or for Facebook. It will give me a bunch of different options, which is amazing because previously when I used to send photos to clients, I had to go through and export separate photos for print, separate photos for Facebook, because obviously they're not going to upload these gigantic file sizes to Facebook. They'll look like crap when Facebook compresses them, and it'll take forever. So now Pixie Set has removed that step for me. All I have to do is just upload the high resolution photos and Pixie Set creates all of the smaller ones for me, which is amazing, saves me a ton of time. Now, one other thing that is really, really cool and really important is that in addition to them creating those photos for me, they've also made it sublimely easy for me to actually upload my photos. So if I go over here, over to Pixie Set, to my settings, I can actually go down here we can insert Google Analytics so we can actually see who's looking at our photos. We can 
adjust our home page and decide what actually gets shown on there. We can change our watermarking. We can have watermarks automatically added to the photos or taken off. We can even have password settings. So if I go to my gallery settings, we'll go back here. And we can hide the file name. We can decide whether it's going to show up in Google. We can have sharpening applied or not applied to the images when they are downloaded or resized. And somewhere in here, doo -doo 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 -doo. we can also upload our photos via Lightroom, which is absolutely amazing. So instead of exporting our photos in Lightroom, then coming in to Pixie Set and dragging those photos over and uploading them that way, like I showed you, you can actually download the Lightroom plugin import it into Lightroom, and then Lightroom will automatically upload photos as it exports to Pixie Set. And what's really, really cool about this is it allows you to republish new edits. So let's say that I actually had this gallery and I was going through it and I liked everything, but the bride got back to me and said, you know, in this photo, my hair is just kind of weird. I, it's too saturated. Can you fix that for me? I could say, yeah, no problem. I hop into Lightroom, I adjust that one photo, and then use the plugin to automatically sync it. I don't have to worry about going into this gallery, deleting this photo, finding out what photo that was, going back to Lightroom, and then editing, exporting, going back into Pixie Set, uploading. It's so much simpler using the Lightroom plugin. So that's a really cool tool for you as well. Okay, so let's show you exactly what I do when I send my clients a finished gallery. So we've got this gallery. I want to send it to my clients. I'm going to open it up here. And you can see that here we have this view button. Let me close this. I'm going to hit the view button. Oh, <laughs> uh, the share button, obviously. My mind just blanks here. The share button. And from there we can put in their email. I put in my subject. And then what's really, really cool is that Pixie Set, obviously we've got a preview of what they're going to see. It has this beautiful image from the gallery, a view photos button, and we can insert an email template here. So I have one pre-made for 2019 wedding delivery. I put in their names. And bam, I don't have to worry about writing this big, long email. I've already done it, and it's consistent and the same across every single couple, every single session. And I've got one for engagements, etc. as well. And then... I can hit send e invite once that looks good and they're going to receive exactly what it looks like here. So this beautiful email that I could not make by myself, Pixie Set does for me and they can even send me a copy so that I can see it, make sure that it got sent, everything like that. We can also share direct links to our gallery. We can share it directly onto Facebook, on Pinterest, Twitter if you like. We can even view our history to see if we've made sure that we have actually sent this gallery out. So this is good because sometimes you forget about it, right? You say, oh, I think I sent them the gallery, but did I? Well, you can check right here, and you can see that I sent it to her originally the beginning of September. Now, let's say that we don't want just anybody to be able to download photos. I already showed you how to add the watermark setting, but if we are in our gallery section, we have this little icon here, and we can actually decide who can download and who can see the different photos. So we can have a privacy section. We can add a password. And then that way, only the client has access. They have to add this specific password in order to see it. And we can decide which parts of the gallery are hidden and which parts are visible to the public. So it's really amazing that way. And that password will automatically be included in the actual email template. So let's say, again, we'll go back here, say the password was pass, go to share. And then we have this icon. We can insert our password exclusive access to the client. There you go. So. If you're that kind of photographer, you want to keep things under wraps, or you have sessions that maybe you just don't want publicly shared, if you do boudoir or things that are more personal in nature, well, that's a great option that is included inside of Pixie Set. So I cannot say enough good things about them. If you're interested in my email templates, by the way, I'm actually going to give you the 2019 wedding one that I use and the engagement one that I use. If you're interested, you can just use them as a reference for writing your own templates. And one little quick tip for you, if you are sending out a session and it's appropriate, always ask for a review. So what I do at the end of my email is I just add a couple little sentences saying, hey, if you're up for it, I would love it so much if you'd leave a quick review and a five-star rating on our Google page or our Facebook or whatever it is I'm trying to get reviews on at the time, Wedding Wire, whatever it is. And then I have a link right here to make it super easy and I've shortened it with bit.ly in order to make it just smaller and nicer looking. That's the only real reason for that. But I will include this template. You can download the engagement and the wedding template. Just check the description or the comments. I'll have a download link for you there. 
So that's Pixie Set. That's how I send it out. And once I have actually sent out the photos, I will follow up with an additional review request just to kind of hit them twice, kind of give them a second option in case they were too busy the first time or just forgot because it happens. And if you want to get reviews, you have to ask. Tangent, no longer Pixie Set, but you understand. Let's talk about pricing. The beautiful thing about Pixie Set is it's actually free if you want to just use it on a limited basis. So for free, you can get three gigabytes of storage. If you use the link that I'm going to include in the description below, you actually get 3.25 gigabytes of storage. So they'll give you some bonus if you use that link. Um, and then if you upgrade to basic, $8 a month or $10 a month, 16 slash 20, depending on how you pay. I'm using this one right here. And you saw how many galleries I have. I have several years worth of weddings and engagements, and this hasn't been an issue. Unless you have a huge, crazy amount of photos that you're actually taking and giving, then Plus is probably going to work just fine for you. But the nice part is you can upload at any point whatsoever. Upgrade, not upload. That wouldn't make any sense. So make sure to use that link below if you're interested in a discount slash some bonus storage if you're using the free package. And yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below in the comments section, obviously. Make sure to hit that like button if this video was helpful for you. I hope it was. I hope it gave you an idea of what's inside Pixie Set, how I personally use it. I, I just can't say enough things about it because I love the fact that all of my galleries are beautiful. They're presented in an amazing way to the client. They're easy to navigate. Creating everything is easy to do. Honestly, that took me about two seconds to show you exactly how I'm using Pixie Set. And the nice bonus is you have all of your images backed up. So I have all of my sessions for the last two years just backed up here and I can reference them. I can download photos really quickly, really easily. And I just have them in case I ever need them, which I love having an online backup. I don't have to worry about hard drives failing. So hopefully this was helpful. Please, again, comment below, like, subscribe if you want more great content, tutorials, and free resources. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.